Hello, hello. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I myself was yeah, a little busy, not too bad. However, we're back into it with some Blue Green Eldrazi. Now, this is a list that I'm not gonna lie, Elder Deep Fiend. I love this card. I know these are the these are the heavy hitters of Eldrazi. You see those across every format. Reality Smasher, Thought Not Seer. These are Eldrazi staples, but this is the guy I loved in standard. Elder Deep Fiend. For those who are not aware, 8 mana for a 5-6 flash. When you cast it, not when it resolves or enters the battlefield, when you cast it, you tap up to 4 permanents. Now it has this mechanic called Emerge. I can sacrifice a creature, pay the difference of this Emerge cost from the creature's converted mana cost in colorless, and basically get a reduction on this guy. So, you know, uh, uh, best case scenario, I mean, because it can only reduce by colorless, so best case scenario, Two blue for this little bad boy, tossing a creature alongside. So anything that costs five or less would make this free. There we go, Reality Smasher. And that's pretty much it. Everything else will at least cost some mana, but it gives you some flexibility with being able to sneak him out for a little bit less than eight. <laughs> All right, let's start from the beginning. So we're starting off with blue-green. Uh, I am going to do a teamer list just because I love Kozilek's return in combination with certain deep fiends and other things, but... For now, we're going uh, Simic. Uh, yeah, no one's going to love seeing him, but, I mean, come on. Come on. <clears throat> right? I mean, come on. He, until something happens to him, which could happen in T-minus any time now, depending on how long lunch in uh, California takes. But assuming nothing happens to him, which I can't imagine anything will, he's going to continue to be really good, so we should continue to play good cards. That's all I'll say about Oko. Of course, I'm going to play Oko. Got to play the old Goose. <laughs> Best ringtone ever. Uh, gotta play the old goose, because why not? It's the goose. Uh, obviously, this is multi-opponent uh, all-star in a sense that, you know, it's a mana fixer for us, makes mana of any color. The life gain, incremental against both aggro and uh, burn. So he's definitely good. He's good. He's good. He's a good goose. He's a good goose. Plus he blocks uh, 1x's for just days and days and days, so... A uh, line of world, another staple of mana acceleration. Now, here's one that many who don't play modern probably have forgotten about. Or not. Because, again, multi format all star. Wish to go over it again. Stubborn Denial. It's essentially a force spike for a non creature spell. However, with Ferocious, it turns up to a straight up counter spell. Becomes a negate at that point. Ferocious being that I have a creature with power 4 or greater. So, combination of pretty much anything over here or Mr. Heart of Kiron. It's a one mana negate. Which is just fantastic in this deck. I got two in the main. I got two more in the board because I feel like this card, if you're going to support it, it should be a playset between main deck and sideboard. It's just so good. It's just so good. So good. It takes care of the one drops, two drops. Heart of Karan, like I said, I love this card in any deck with this guy. I don't know if I've done it before, but I mean, you know, plus two, plus one, doesn't matter. Is plus one and then a minus one. Like a plus one turning something into a three three, and then a minus one to block that three three with a four four. Is, it's it's a pretty nice little one-two there. Oh, we got it once upon a time. Again, another card that has been a lot of speculation that it may or may not stick around in the format. Eh, I'm kind of on the fence on this one. Free fixing that pretty much always guarantees you have a one drop. Always. Um, but outside of that, is it good enough? I mean, it's really good. Playing with Grizzly Salvage, it's really good. But Grizzly Salvage just puts him in the graveyard, which has additional synergies. Yeah, let's not debate whether or not it's going to get banned. Let's just talk about the fact that it's good. It's here because it finds us answers in the form of fatties, wicked wolf, or, like I said, turn one, it finds us a one drop to really stay on curve. We're going to skip by this little bad boy since we already talked about him. Rogue Refiner, one of the best energy producers of its time. 3-2-3, three, three. you get two energy, draw a card. The only energy synergy we have here is Ether Hub. I mean, it turns into a rainbow land. I mean, that's just... That in and of itself is amazing. But the fact that it also cantrips, replaces itself, has a decent body for the cost, and, even better, it goes curves right into Rogue Refiner, Sack Rogue Refiner, in order to emerge uh, Elder Deep Fiend the following turn. So it really is a nice curve of, like, one drop, three drop. <laughs> Speaking of four drops, Thought Not Seer I mentioned earlier. This is very much a Tide Hole of Skuller type card. Four mana, four, four. You get to exile a non-land card from their hand, and then when this guy dies, they get one off the top. 
there's not much to say here. This card is amazing. This card is definitely what keeps this archetype alive, even more so than my big boy over here or Reality Smasher. It's just the fact that having that Thought Not Zero build, or excuse me, that uh, Tide Hollow Scholar ability, give me discard to Colas, in this case, Exile, so you don't even have the ability to uh, get it back out of your graveyard. Just, just worth inclusion, and of course, one of the best cards in the deck. If it's not, meh, you board it out, but most of the time it is. We have a newcomer here to the format, old Wicked Wolf. I mean, uh, we got a little bit of a food sub theme going on here with Oko, Gilded Goose, so might as well have one of the best anti-aggro and to a lesser extent anti-control cards in the format, if only because gaining indestructible, pretty, pretty good against sweepers that don't uh, rhyme with Berminus. I'm not sold on this, to be honest with you. It's good. It's really good in standard, but... I think it'll be alright. Yeah, I mean, if it's not, I'll side it out, but... It's definitely a very, very efficient hill giant, that's for sure. Alright, moving on. Reality Smasher, the other Eldrazi gem. Five mana for a 5-5 five five with Trample and Haste. Best thing about this guy? Card advantage if they try to remove him via spell. Because if you target with him a spell, then you actually have to discard a card in order for that spell to resolve, otherwise it immediately gets countered. Uh, and it doesn't really ever happen in MTGO world, because of course MTGO reminds everybody of everything, but in a tournament scene, keep in mind, you know, they may forget the trigger. Ah, it probably doesn't work like that anymore. They'll be like, no, nah, rewind the game state, acknowledge the trigger, and then, you know, I'll respond to it. So maybe this guy doesn't get the gotcha power anymore, but still, it's even that much more of a card advantage engine when they try to remove it via spell. That is only via spell, so keep in mind our little uh, timer out of our friend that's floating out there can deal with him pretty efficiently. You know, I mean, it's a five mana, five five haste. You take what you can get. Uh, that's pretty much the main deck in a nutshell. Uh, Sanctum of Ugin out of the mana base. I had this as a three of originally to chain Elder Deep Fiends, but I mean, it is great. It really is. I, it ended up down to a 1-1. One, one. It actually ended up being uh, mutable. It ended up taking its slot. It was like 3 and 0, 2 and 1, now 1 and 2. Mutable just ended up being incredibly handy at like, you know, your slugfest of aggro and aggro or control destroying your stuff randomly. That little 2-2 two, two that just will not go away ends up taking the game. Sure, it's a non-basic land. Sure, it can be, you know, blah, blah, blah pretty easily, but at the end of the day, it's still a free 2-2. Two, two. And who knows? You know, it might actually get there. Oh, uh, mana base is pretty self-explanatory. You need colorless sources, so we got to get uh, you have my coast. You got to get some random utility cards. Uh, I had a scavenger grounds, but again, I just wasn't using it enough. I'd rather get colored mana, or a threat, or a threat. A top over the board. So sideboard. Uh, the biggest thing here is I can't play. Leyline of the Void, which, as I've talked about in the other videos, I think is, like Modern, is kind of essential to this metagame, but maybe I'm just seeing a lot of Soul Flare lately. In its place, I've got Graph Digger's Cage, which is not the worst thing in the world. It does its job, it's just doesn't actually, I mean, it stops things, but it doesn't get rid of them. You know, Leyline gets rid of things. Well, best case scenario, things like Leyline, uh, Tormod's Crypt, they get rid of things. Graph Digger's Cage doesn't get rid of it, it just stops it from doing its thing, for now. Until the Graph Digger's Cage gets removed, then suddenly those things are all back online. So, this is a good, this is a, a good sideboard card for, uh, it hits graveyard-based strategies as well as, like, a collective company or, uh, Court of Calling isn't in this format, so maybe just collected company that I can think of. Still, you know, worth doing it, um worth having that slot. It could be better off as Tormod's Crypt, but I like the continuous effect more than the one and done, even if it is, like I said before, doesn't get rid of the threats. It's still better to have something that sticks around and can kind of splash across different decks. Uh, Pithing Needle, this is for our Planeswalker Menaces. Uh, it's ironic that this is one of those cards that you almost always have to name Oko first if they have access to it, otherwise they just Oko it. But Really, I think it. I, I would probably be bringing in against um, Nisa who shakes the world, something like that. You know, those decks are everywhere right now, which takes us over to 
uh, our Counterspell Suite. Disdainful. I did go a little heavier in Disdainful Stroke, if only because of the presence of these bigger green decks that seem to be everywhere. It's entirely possible I overvalue Mystical Dispute, but it's just being able to stop uh, any, pretty much anything, any of the big money threats in control, and um, is it Phoenix or something like that? You know, being able to stop key cards for a blue, and not just spells, but threats. So it's even better than Stubborn Denial in some cases. This can actually stop, you know, uh, blue creatures or uh, anything spirits can throw at you for a single blue. It's just worth it. It's debatable these numbers should have been swapped, but for now I'm going to stick with the three Mystical Dispute, two Disdainful Stroke. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, I really loved it in the um, Field of the Dead list from the other day, but... It just, it's just a great utility card, and I love the ability of, like, early game, you can stop something problematic from getting in your way. Late game, you can just blow your opponent out. You hit seven mana, you overload it, and suddenly your opponent's board is gone. So, good utility. It's entirely possible. Again, it should have been a second Reclamation Sage, because Reclamation Sage, being able to naturalize something on a body, could come in handy, but I always like answers that serve the same purpose, but can do different things. Again, it could be 2Q. Veil of Summer needs no explanation. If I see black, if I see blue, Veil of Summer comes in and just owns the world. Oh, and then, of course, the last Stubborn Denials, which we already covered, and there's the deck. So, I say we hop into the queue, we see how things go, and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, and we're on. Hey, might be a good night after all. I would love to. All right, well, we don't need this. We don't have a wish board anymore. Okay. Well then, this is not the most impressive start. Five lands, a reality smasher, and a once upon a time. Does the once upon a time make it worth it? I'm gonna go with most likely no. So I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan. This one's kind of a snoozer. Ugh. Now the mutavolts are coming back to bite me. Well, I mean, we can do stuff. I don't want to go to five in my first game. All right, Mr. Reality Smasher. It's between you and the Rogue Refiner. We're going to go ahead and keep. Our opponent kept seven. Beautiful. I'm tempted to put the Rogue Refiner on the bottom, but I think I'm just going to put the five drop. I can't cast the Rogue Refiner yet, but I have a better chance of casting it, I imagine, than the Reality Smasher. And if I do, I'm going to Rogue Refiner into um, Elder Deep Fiend. Yeah. Let's play some Mono Blue. Yuck. See my opponent's up to. Oh no, he did mulligan to six. Woo! Equal equal standings there. Uh, just in case he leads on thought seas, we'll lead on island. Pass the turn. That's right, opponent. Mono blue. Oh, spire buff canal, you say. Oh. Thank you, Dak. Thank you. I just I should have probably put the Muto out there just in case there was a possibility of something, I don't know, crazy. Nah. I'm just going to say nah. I mean, this thing's never going to be useful again. Maybe this way it screws with him a little bit. Stops his setup, but it looks like we might be going against Phoenix, so he really just serves the purpose of saying no before. Oh, right on time, Mr. Line of Worlds. Saying no before. I'm just, I mean, you're never going to cast that card again. So you might as well get some value out of while you can. But and always yield. See, now we're rolling. Now we can curve into Elder Deep Fiend. Next turn. I guess I had three. I can curve into Elder Deep Fiend next turn, and then we might have a game. I'll put a stop on my opponent's upkeep for next turn, assuming I don't draw any better. Can't imagine I'm going to draw any better than that. What do you got for me, opponent? Strategic planning. Well, I meant to yield through this turn. I can't do anything for free. I don't work for free. Shock and crash through. Yep. Phoenix. Let's see how we do against Phoenix. Alright. We're just going to go... We're just going to try for the beat tier. That makes me a sad panda. Because now I don't have the ability to curve into Elder Deep Fiend like I want to. It's debatable. I could still... Yuck. Yuck. Hmm. This is why I probably should have saved the Stubborn Denial, but 
I mean, if I had a stubborn denial of that, I wouldn't have been able to deep fiend it regardless. So I'll say okay to that. All right, all right, all right. And uh, yeah, there we go. Slime worlds. It's beats time. Timely shock. Double shock. Yeah, we're just going to yield through the end of this turn. I got nothing going on here. <sighs> yep. Still no Phoenix Eye and no Faithless Looting. What do you do? You put it on top, so whatever it is, he liked it. Treasure Cruise? Nice. Now we're cooking with gas. It's sad, but I think my plan here is literally just to activate some Mute Vaults. Jeez, the third shock. You got me. Now I wish I had the Reality Smasher. Oops. What you got going on, opponent? Using all your shocks on my little dingers. Yeah. Yeah, what you got? We're going to go ahead and always yield. Let's take a look, see at this fresh new hand. <laughs> okay. Four lands. That's a good thing to see. Go ahead and say no to that. Need to this turn. <clears throat> it's debatable I could have bluffed Stubborn Denial, but look at him. He's got four lands in his hand. He's going to cast whatever he draws, so there's no point in bluffing. Yuck. Yeah, Stubborn Denial wouldn't have done anything to that, but hey, that's okay. He played the Steam Vent, so his hand is three lands. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have a. Oh, I got so excited. Good news is. One, two, three, four. So two, four, six. I can play the wolf. Actually, I have an idea here. Yeah, so attack. Well, if we're lucky. I'll block the mute of all, then I can just. Fight it. Fight. If not, it'll take six damage. We can deal with that too. Do it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, ho, ho. thanks, opponent. This gets rid of the thing in the ice. Yep. Munch, 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 munch. Bye, thing in the ice. All right. I got an Elder Deep Fiend on the next attack step to tap him back. <laughs> At least we know what he drew. He's like, you can't stop me again. Three cards in hand, and he... He didn't play a land, so he's bluffing with my... What just happened? Oh, I think I accidentally hit two at the wrong time. I'm going to attack with both no matter what. Four, five, six, seven, so four, five, six. So blue, blue, colorless. It's debatable I should have sent a Muta Vault as well. No, there's no debate about it. That was definitely... See that little right there? That was somehow a misclick, even though I didn't hit it. But that's okay. We have two damage on the table. Opponent still has three lands in hand. If your opponent... If... Eh, let's go ahead and attack with everything. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that stop on my opponent's turn. See, these two Mutavolts should have gone across, too, because then that's four damage left on the table. So I'm not sure what just happened there. Okay. Uh... Is it worth bluffing another card in hand? Sure. All right. I'm going to tap down all those blue sources. Said blue. Okay. We're gonna tap the thing in the ice. And blue, blue, blue. Always yield. Then I'm gonna hit two. Yep. I know what you got in your hand. These three cards right here, now something new. Let's see what it is. Draw two cards, discard two cards. Yeah, sure. Seems reasonable. It's a pretty nice little top deck. Let's see if there's two lands. Well, lands are good discard. Uh, Spire Buckle now, Shivan Reef. I still know two cards of his hand. I still know he's got an island in hand. And five, nine. That's 13. Well, it's. It's probably like, yeah, he might just skip through activating his Muta Vaults again. Nah, not this time. And to be fair, that wasn't my call. Probably was, but. That's life. <laughs> hey, we won! Huzzah! Okay. Mystical Dispute, definitely going to be pretty darn good here. 
Stubborn Denial, probably decent. I'm tempted to bring in Graf Digger's Cage. I mean, he has to. No, we didn't see Phoenix. This might, he might just be doing the, um... He might just be doing the Prowess deck. So I'm going to leave the Graf Digger's Cages out until we verify that. What doesn't work here? It's not like Oko. Like Rogue Definer. So I got five cards to bring in. Uh, it's debatable the weakest card is Once Upon a Time. It's like one of those variable slots that you can just take out. I like Heart of Karan. I like Oko. Oko against the Thing in the Ice is pretty sweet. Or even an Awoken Horror. Wicked Wolf is probably the next weakest one, so maybe we'll just go like that. Again, it's debatable that these, these Line of War Elves should be coming out, but I kind of want to keep that speed edge more than I want to. I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out two... I was going to take out two Line of War Elves, bring back in two Once Upon a Time, just to find the Elder Deep Fiend, since Once Upon a Time is serving the purpose of my like mini Sanctum of Mulligan. Like a way to find this bad boy, kind of. I think I like everything else. Wicked Wolf could also go too. But if he's playing Prowess, then this is going to be really good. Um, Splash Flyers. Rogue Refiner is probably the next weakest piece. This means a 3 2 Ground Pounder. He doesn't get through. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, we'll do it like that. I like Rogue Refiner, but as a 3-2 Ground Pounder, he's not going to get through a uh, thing in the ice, uh, attacking, and... Oh, boy. Well, this could be interesting. We'll definitely keep it. We'll see where it goes. Let's see what my opponent does. Spire Buff Canal. And that's it. We're going to uh, we'll go Breeding Pool. We're going to get this goose out here. He gets shocked. Oh, he gets opted. Ooh, he opts. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey, come back. Uh, Crit's food token. He put it on the bottom. He did not like it. We yield through this turn. <sighs> Got the turn one goose, and I can't do anything with it. Unfortunate. Oh, thing in the ice. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to pay two life. Mm. That was a punt. I was trying to save myself two life since I didn't have any plays, but in hindsight, we should have played the Aether Hub first, so that way I had the ability to make a food end of turn, should that be relevant, which it very well could be. What do you got for me? Strategic planning. Is that worth a stubborn denial? <laughs> sure, why not? Beep! Ha-ha! Didn't see that one coming, did you? Okay, so what I need is a Oko would be good. Sanctum of Ugin, that's not bad. Let's go Ether Hub. Let's get this Thought Knot here out here. Let's see what my opponent's working with. Slip through space. Okay, can't be blocked. Draw a card, treasure cruise, lightning axe. Well the lightning axe is getting taken. What else is my opponent up to? Give me those revealed cards. Alright. So we are on the... Let's see. Creature can't be blocked. Devoid. Okay. Another thing in the ice. Treasure cruise. He's going to slip through space. You got it. If I untap, it's... Four. So one, two, three, four. I won't have enough for... What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? Something just what just happened? He played an island? Oh, he played the crash through. That's what I missed. Alright, let's think about this for a hot second. Four. So this guy costs three at the moment. I'll give my opponent a card. So one blue Sanctum of Wugan for the Cubbless. I'll have 
to take a turn off. Oh, he's got, well, he's got a treasure cruise in hand, a thing in the ice, and two other cards. If one of them is an instant, this plan may or may not work. But I do think it's worth it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to attack the Thought Knots here and see what he does. Good news is I have stubborn denial. Okay, well he didn't do anything, so we're gonna go and cast for the merge. Uh, we sack this dude. Should cost, yeah, blue, blue, colorless. Uh, let's just. Uh, I'm not gonna auto yield to that one. We're gonna say okay. He drew a card. Three and five other ones. Yes. Do I want to sacrifice it? Sure. I'll go grab. Let's go get another thought not seer. Play land thought not seer next turn. Build up for the ultra for the uh Reality Smasher to clean up afterwards. See now, not creating that uh, food token is actually coming back to bite me pretty hard. So make sure you're always planning ahead with that stuff. I should have probably just paid the two life to do it. I think I'm going to set up for a Thought Knot Seer next turn. It may not be the best idea with a... Uh... Okay. Because this way I can ideally... Oh, here we go. Let's turn off all the yields. We go Ether Hub. Let's see what my opponent's working with. All right, so this thing in the ice is most certainly flipping. everything here. What's the worst thing here? Probably the cruise, but he has two of them, so one of those is actually not going to do anything. So probably just go with the next cheapest thing, which would be crash through. Yeah, let's crash through. Okay, this is what he's got. This is what I got. There we go. I'm going to yield through this turn. All my stuff's going to get bounced, so then we'll see how that goes. He'll draw a card. I'll get to Thought Not Seer again. Yep. Everybody bounces. Everybody bounces. Now he gets to draw a card as well, so strategic planning is out. And now we got Awoken Horror versus... Well, it depends. If I rip a land, then I'm just going Reality Smasher. If I do not, what do you got? Treasure Cruise? I'm going on a cruise. Yep. Bye-bye, Treasure Cruise. Eight cards in his hand. Woken Horror could be problematic, but I just have to start to build. It doesn't have Trample, which is nice, but I just have to kind of build my board back up. Start with the Thought Not Seer, and then once we get to that point, like I said, ideally I'll get to the point where, oh, I guess it can have Trample, uh, where I can draw, draw land, I'm just going to smash his face. I did not draw land. What does Double Goose do? Double Goose does nothing. He's got a full grip. Yuck. Okay. The path to victory here definitely looks like we got to set up Thought Knots here, lead into Real or uh, Elder Deep Fiend and Reality Smasher. Okay, Double Is It Charm. Try to push the thing in the ice, I guess. Oh, there is an Arc Light Phoenix. Ah. Again, is it charm? Is it charm? He can't triple is a charm, so I guess the best thing to hit would most likely be treasure cruise. Let's see, I hit treasure cruise. What's he do next turn? Two, he's got an untapped land, so a five mana, two, four. Probably bring back the Phoenix. This may or may not work like I want it to, so we will go ahead and take draw two, discard two, draw two, discard two, get that treasure cruise out of there. Because I think he actually has enough mana to do it. Unfortunate. 
He's at 10. So yeah, my plan here is to hope I draw that fifth land at some point in the next two turns. Next turn, attack for four. Uh, his upkeep, Elder Deep Fiend. I tap down what I can. He may just double is it charm this Thought Knots here, which... Nope, he didn't. He's going for the Phoenix. We yield to this turn. So he goes... He gets this Phoenix back. I'm taking 10. I'm at 1. I attack for 4. He's at 6. He discarded Thing in the Ice. Spire Bluff Canal. Thing in the Ice. Spire Bluff Canal. He put it on the bottom. He did not like it. And the Isaac Charm's gone too. Has he played the island yet? Charter Course. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. Arclight Phoenix is back. And here they come. Sure. I will not block. Kind of need the damage. Ugh, it stings. Make sure we're stopped at my opponent's turn. And we shall go. He's got five cards in his hand, I know. I have two energy, too. So I'm going to keep in mind and draw. And Elder Deep Vein. Okay, now I'm in a position where, assuming this works and he can't do anything about it, I'm in a position where I can rip the fifth land and just kill him with a Reality Smasher. Or he just shocks me. Well, I will attempt to say no. He's going to be like, shock you again? No. Come on, fifth land. Come on, fifth land. Yeah, strategic planning. Perfect. Come on, fifth land. Fifth land! If I don't work the fifth land, I can actually survive another turn. I'll just play double build goose and chump chump. Assuming, hoping he doesn't have crash through. have to attack to put him at one. I think I just go double gilded goose and keep up stubborn denial. Is that going to do it? Could that do it? That could do it. Assuming my opponent has literal nothing except he does have is a charm. But I also have stubborn denial. Oh wow, this could be interesting. Well, they don't have trample yet. Oko. Oh, you mockery. I could play Oko. No, because he still has is a charm. Yeah, so he can shoot the goose. I can stubborn denial it. No, because I have to attack and I have to play two threats. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, geese. It's us versus the world. Needed that fifth land so bad, but here we go. Goose. Goose. Funny enough, I can, if he attacks with both, I can block Awoken Horror, sack a food token, and then have the mana for a Reality Smasher. Deals two damage to target creature. So I block Awoken Horror and gain three life. Sure. If he has another one, I have to stop that one. Although... Oh, he had three as a charge, unless I just missed it. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered then, because if I'd have stopped the first one, I wouldn't have had the mana to do the food token. Oh, opponent. Oh, am I missing anything? If I gain three, it doesn't matter. All right, cool. I'll be on the plate. All goes back to that food token. All goes back to it. Uh, nothing really changes. I could bring in Graft Digger's Cage. In fact, I probably should bring in Graft Digger's Cage. Um, I really want to see these hearts in action. I guess it'd be, again, just trimming. Actually, let's trim that Oko. And, again, I think Rogue Refiner in a world of shocks and whatnot is worse than Wicked Wolf right now. Okay, let's try that. So I'm on the play. I would love to play first. This hand seems very keepable. Go 
Botanical Sanctum, and old Mr. Lanowar Elves. I'm going to yield to this turn. I imagine he'll get shocked. If he gets shocked, eh, yeah, eh, yeah, that's life. It's one less to throw at my dome later in life. Otherwise, I'll just go yabba my coast. No! Why would you do such a thing? Yeah, yeah. I'll just play breeding pool, uh, play breeding pool tapped. Ooh, never mind. I'm just going to play the Graph Digger's Cage and keep up Mystical Dispute. It's worth paying two life if I can stop a thing in the ice. <sighs> oh, why do I have a stop on his upkeep? You know what? I'm just going to say okay. I'll keep it there just to bluff it. Shock. Thing in the ice, perhaps? Charter course. <clears throat> sure. Discarding Arclight Phoenix. There he will stay. Get something out here. I'm not fond of uh, leaving out the or leaving the possibility of uh, letting that um, uh, letting that thing in the ice sneak through. But I got to get something on the board, or else I will just have nothing, like literal nothing. Let me guess. <sighs> of course, of course. Now Rogue Finder looks very silly. Oh, beautiful. Well, I guess I'll play another cage, and I will pass the old tiddly turn. Yep. He says, I call your bluff. I say, okay. Okay. That is unfortunate. That is not a good sign for us that that was able to slip through, because I had the mystical dispute. Yeah, sure. Now I'm probably going to get beaten down by this thing. The unfortunate thing is, I can't actually do anything about it. Are you kidding me right now? Come on, come on, Dak. Seriously, come on. There's no point in attack. Yep. Yeah, this is bad. This is not going to end well for me. Which is unfortunate. It's like, do it, should I have not played the Rogue Refiner trying to hit the fourth land drop and kept open Mystical Dispute? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those things where it could have gone either way. The game was really lost. Turn three of... Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It could be all she wrote. I don't know if I can race a 7-8 when I have a bunch of Reality Smashers in my hand. Hey, cool. Yep. This one might just be all but over. Yeah, the game was lost, uh, or the match was lost game three last time when I didn't play the two life to be able to make the egg end of turn. That came back to bite me hard. But hey, you live, you learn. That's life. Now I'm just in trouble. Unless I rip an Oko. Or a breeding pool. Well, good news is I can stall. Yep. Draw. Heart of Karan. Uh, sure. A very good chance I'm just dead here, but we're gonna go ahead and try the old line of worry elves, and we're gonna yield to this turn. <sighs> Two arc light phoenixes. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. Oh wait, never mind. I have another turn. That doesn't matter. Should have saved that a turn. I wouldn't have blocked. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, well, I'm still not blocking. No. Kind of need the mana. 
Need the mana to represent thought, not seer into nothing. Ugh. Okay. Well, I have a line of royals for a chump blocker. So, to be fair, okay, there we are. So, so we're gonna go ahead and always yield. Now our game plan is it ain't over till it's over. Our game plan is still to chump. Yep. Yep. Now we got chump with Lion Wells, and we got to hope, 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 hope. Oh, you dingus. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, well. That was rough, but it really all came back down to not paying that two life in the early game to make that second egg. Had I done that, that game would have been one. So definitely have to keep those little things in mind. Let's hop back over to Constructed. Alrighty. Well, our winning streak on die rolls has ended after a just a freaking blazing record of one match. Yeah, I'll take it. To be fair, my deck gave me the goods. The sequencing was where we were having issues. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, all right. We got stuff to do, so we'll keep. Let's see what my opponent's up to and determine whether or not the Land of Worlds or the Gilded Goose is the better turn one play. <sighs> opponent molded to six, so. Concealed courtyard. Ooh, tokens. Gilded Goose is definitely the better one drop. Apparently my deck thinks so too. Triple Goose! Ah, looks like we're dealing with some abs and tokens. Oh, maybe not. Maybe something cooler. Saucy. What we got? Rally the Ancestors. Beautiful. What's he taking? And the concealed courtyard, you got it. Should we just go Team Goose? I think so. So I'm always yield. Is it worth trading one energy for a third goose? Uh, sure. I'm gonna play Line of Worlds actually. I'd like something that didn't demand a resource. Uh, now we don't need to attack. So I got a block block. He's got a concealed courtyard. We're going to go ahead and yield through this turn. There's nothing I can do. Uh, so next turn, one, two, three, four, five. So I can reality smash. It'll cost me pretty much everything on the board. Voice of Resurgence. Sure. So I attack for five. He blocks. He can actually, he can't kill it, but ooh. Well, that's interesting. Does that change anything? Might just go green, blue, colorless. Oko, make the make a food into a rally the ancestors blister pot. So sack outlet. He's most likely sack outlet, so I gotta keep my eye out for. So if I make Oko, or if I Oko, make a food into a creature and attack, he blocks with voice of resurgence, he trades the 2-2 two -two for a 3-3, three -three, and then all of a sudden I'm on chump duty. Hmm. Four five. Reality Smasher. The next turn now, because then all my food is gone. I don't want to play the Oko, it's a matter of what I want to do with that. I'm going to kill my opponent, that's what I should be thinking about. How can I kill my opponent? Hmm. Does the Oko do anything or should I just smash some reality? 
then use the Oko next turn. Yeah, that could work. Let's get the quick reality smasher going. Trample will come in handy. Let's do that. So then, next turn, Oko can come down. Let's just let's just go with the quick reality smasher plan. Hoping my opponent doesn't have like you know all the combo. In box with the two two. I take five on the crack back. He takes six on the crack crack back. But yeah. Yep. Two, three. So next turn I play the Oko, I turn a goose into a 3-3, three, three, and I attack for eight. Brain maggot. Oh boy. So we got to, he only gets to take the Oko, which is fine. Brain maggot. This deck is straight out of that block, isn't it? That's awesome. Rally the ancestors. <laughs> oh man, this deck's on my list to play too. We played Rally Zombies, which was fun, but the Abzan Aristocrats is where it's at, especially when you factor in the Rally. Bye, Oko. Guess I should have played you. Oh boy, there's the Zulbor Cutthroat. Dang it! That's the card. Well, they don't have a Sacrifice Outlet, so I guess I'm not dead yet, but now it's my Reality Smasher versus his Elemental. Maybe with the Geese. I guess we'll see. We'll see. This could go either way. Yeah. I'm assuming you're getting with the elemental. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, now. Ugh, once upon a time. That card. That card is like. The variance on that card about whether it's amazing or just bleh. God, how many lands am I playing? Could cast it, trying to find a land drop. Could play the Lion or Elves. The thing about his elemental is it doesn't trample, so. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with an attack for five. We'll see what he does. Probably just block with the Haunted Witness, I imagine. Zillaport Cutthroat. Unfortunate. Two. Okay. I'm gonna lose two. He's going to lose. Yeah. Yep. If he finds a sack outlet and the rally, then we will have a problem. So jump, make a do or make a thing. Or just cast it. I'll cast the once upon a time. See what I need to do is get this elder deep fiend going, but I don't have double blue. Jump, make an egg, and all of a sudden I've got access to what I need. Yeah, yeah, I hate to say it, but that's probably... Hmm. I'm just thinking here, if I play the other goose, then I'll have the mana. Now I actually need... Yeah, I need to do something else here. So I'll have the mana to cast the Elder Deep Fiend off of the Reality Smasher, but it doesn't win the game. So I think I'm just going to go Line or Elves, um, chump with Gilded Goose, make a food, and pass. That's my plan. Set up for the Elder Deep Fiend next turn. <sighs> Gotta be careful though, Rally of the Ancestors is an instant. It is an instant. Four white mana. What costs four white mana? Nothing, apparently. Fourteen, thirteen. Tokens. What do I have in my sideboard for this matchup? Cyclonic Rift is okay. Stubborn Denial is okay. I haven't seen it. Return to the ranks! Nice. All right, Graph Digger's Cage definitely coming back. They're coming in. Well then, 
I was not expecting return to the ranks. Um, very, very good. Very, very good. Now we might have a problem closing this one out just because of the sheer amount of chump blockers she's got. Yep. Yeah. Still gonna follow the same plan though. Block is 8 8 with a Gilded Goose. Make an egg and. Or excuse me, a food token. Uh, let's go. Block. No trample means I don't care. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, right. Okay. Bye, Goose. You served your purpose. One, two, three, four, five mana open. He's got one card in his hand. <sighs> now he can just block with the voice of resurgence and make another big dude, which I'm not happy about. What can I do? Our opponent casts a spell during your turn, so Elder Deep Fiend will trigger this voice of resurgence, which is annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can kill the Reality Smasher if it attacks. One card in his hand. We could go for a... I'm going to go for the Once Upon a Time, see what my options are on the top. Um, one, two, three, four. I can cast the Thought Not Seer. Correct play might just be. So one, two, three, four. I can cast the Thought Knots here, but that's it. Jewel Land. I could just take the Reality Smasher, set it up for maybe next turn. God, I'm so far away from closing it out, though. Double Reality Smasher can get the job done, maybe. I will take the Reality Smasher. I just don't think the Thought Knot's going to do anything when he has one card in his hand. Granted, that one card could be the card. Could be Rally, but it doesn't matter. Rally doesn't do anything right now. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to do a repeat of last turn. <clears throat> I'm just going to play Gilded Goose. Make a food. And then... Yeah, make play Gilded Goose, make a food, and then uh, see where we go from there. Oh, wait, we're back. Um, what, uh, okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Gilded Goose. One, two, three, four. Yeah, same kind of play. Gilded Goose. I'll just chump with this one, make another, uh... That's if I want to chump. I might not chump. One, two, three, four, five, six. This costs seven altogether. So I actually need everything this time around. Uh, am I going to attack? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I would kill a bunch of things, two of which would replace, or well, three of which would replace themselves, so now there's no point in attacking, which is unfortunate. We're just going to hold out. All right, this is what has to happen here. We have to get to a point, and it, it's looking like it's going to be next turn, where end step. I can elder, uh, yeah. I have to elder deep fiend during his end step in order to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he's got one card in his hand. Let's see what you got. At least if it's a reanimate or something like that, he can't do anything with it. I'm just gonna chump with the goose. So we are gonna go ahead and chump with the goose. And that's all for that one. Let's go ahead and make another. Egg. Excuse me, make another food. I keep calling them eggs because they're geese. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to play the second Reality Smasher. Let's see, if I attack with both, i got to get him to single digits. Okay. 
go. Play the second reality smasher. Let me see here. So anyway, this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I attack for five, no damage is gonna get through. But I have to be able to cast this Elder Deep Fiend. Two, four, six, seven. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say no. So I'm gonna leave that off the table for now. I am not going to attack yet. I think what I'm gonna try to do is set something up. Unless he rips a sack out, but I think I'm gonna take the eight, go to five. Well, let's see what he drew. Abzan Ascendancy. Planner gates country, you can try or not to go to. Alright, cool. So everybody gets bigger. And then when his stuff dies, he gets spirits. Alright. So, 9 9, you get chomped by Gilded Goose. Problem with Elder Deep Fiend, though. If he goes all in, yeah, sure. If he goes all in, what can I do? Am I dead if he goes all in? I don't think so. Oh, he's only attacking with things that replace themselves? Well, why is he attacking with the Wayfinder? Yuck. Um, okay, well, let's see. You can block here. You can block here. You can block here. And I'll take four. I'll eat some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll take six and I'll get two tokens. Yuck. Ugh, yeah, a token. Oh, non-token, of course. Of course, of course. Abzan Ascendancy. Ugh. Hmm. So I attack for ten. He block, 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 block. He probably blocks with everything. He's at eighteen. Oh, boy. I can gain six, so I'm at thirteen. If I cast... This Elder Deep Fiend during his turn. Two, four, six, seven. If I cast this Elder Deep Fiend during his turn, I'll give him a Voice of Resurgence token, which is really annoying. Hmm. If I attack with both, he'll definitely block with the Voice, probably maybe with the Brain Maggot. I can't imagine he would. Let's see what he does. Attack with both. If I can get enough creatures off the board, I can make this elemental a non-threat. I don't think he wants to block with his cutthroat. I know he wants to block with his voice. But then he's sitting at 10. And if I can pull off this, never mind. Okay. He's at 8. What can I tap? One, two, three, four of his threats. He gets another voice token. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this costs six, so won't be able to gain any life. Okay. Well, I think it's worth giving him a, a token in order to pull this off. So let's go to his upkeep. This is going to give him a Voice of Resurgence token, but I just don't see me... just don't see me... pulling this off any other way. It seems like the best window to do it. Yep. One, two, three... He'll get another token, but then it'll be his. I just gotta hope Trample can carry me here. Uh, yep. Oh, wait, Trample can't carry me well, so block, all block. So 10, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. You can absorb five of it. So theoretically, 11 will still get through. But then again. Oh boy, never mind. Well, the good news is I'm not dead. It doesn't kill me. 
Oh, another deep fiend off the top would be clutch. Deep fiend, deep fiend, deep fiend. Give me another one. One more, baby. Deep fiend off the top. Deep fiend. That's a real refiner. Almost. But it is a reroll. Before I do anything, so he's got four blockers. I've got four attackers. He's at eight. So, double block, block. He's going to take six right now. So what I need is something good off of this rope refiner. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. I need still something good off of this rope refiner. Deep Fiend would still do it. Deep Fiend! Another Rogue Refiner. I'm at 7. I'm at 10. I'm effectively at 10. He's got a 9-9. Nine, nine. So I attack with everybody. He can double block a Trampler. Chump and block. Dang it. If I don't attack... What do I got? Do I have anything? Needed another deep fiend. Multiples! Mm -hmm. If I play the other refiner, I'll be at six. I'll have four blockers up to his, you know, at least the refiners at the block block. Block, block. Three, six, ten gets through. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Unfortunate. Is there anything I'm forgetting here? Let's see, attacks with everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm at five automatically. Block, block with Elf and Rogue Refiner. Block, block. Yeah, no. Nah. Nope. Almost. But not good enough. Okay, so what comes in here? Uh, let's see here. Man, Heart of Karan just does not want to come out to play. Ugh. Veil of Summer does fizzle all of those silly... Whatchamajiggers, um... Uh, Zillport Cutthroat Triggers. That's nah, pretty narrow, though. I like Wicked Wolf. I would love to see him. Thought Not Seer is just okay in this matchup. Kind of. Stubborn Denial isn't bad with all this junk. I think, I think what I'll do is... You know, the easy thing is just to trim once upon a time because I'm not actually, you know, trading... Threats for non threats. Man. Reclamation Sage. It's debatable. Reclamation Sage could come into. Cyclonic Rift is probably good. Yeah. <sighs> Meh. Well, I do not like the best card. Am I taking out the right card? Okay. Creature or land. Again, Stubborn Denial is meh. Heart of Quran, I feel like, could be very good if I see it. I feel like I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I should have done four of those bad boys. I was thinking of doing four. I would love to play first. <sighs> well, once upon a time, see if you can find me a green source. If you find me a green source, I might be able to do something. If you don't find me a green source, this will be a quick game. <laughs> oh, This reminds me of when... Uh, Street Wraith came out, and everybody was like, you know, oh, you just cram it in, it makes mulling easier. Nah, it don't work like that. Oh, here we go. Hmm. But free! Give me a green source, or we are screwed. Whew. Take it out of my coast. Play the goose. Didn't I hit you two turn? I thought I did. Opponent kept his seven. What do you got? Blister Pod. Botanical Sanctum. I will pass. Nope. All depends on what my opponent does. Voice of Resurgence. That guy's only a little bit annoying. Yeah, we're gonna go with uh 
We are going to go with Thought Knots here on this one. Oh, go. Getting into Brain Maggot territory, but. That one. Conclave Tribunal, Collected Company. Conclave Tribunal draws him a card. Collective Company just is awesome. I guess I'd rather give him... Yeah, I don't think it's a question here. I think I have to take the Collective Company and just give him the Tribunal. It's unfortunate, but meh. That's life. Alright, what we do? Let's go ahead and yield to his turn. Collected company. Grab Digger's Cage will be good if I see it. If he goes Conclave Tribunal and Thought Not Seer, I believe my play is Wicked Wolf, the Voice of Resurgence. Swamp. He might not. He might go like Brain Maggot or something. Oh, Cruel Celebrant. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Nice. So he's leaving the damage in favor of Tribunal. Sure. Alright, Thought Not Seer's out. No worries. So now he's got an Overgrown Tomb and something else. So, let's see what we draw. Another Thought Not Seer. Um, yeah. What was I doing? Um, let's go. Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, what was I doing? Oh, uh, I was thinking about Oko versus just Thought Not Searing. He's got an overgrown tomb and something else. I'd be sacking my food, but then again, I'll be making an Oko next turn. Or I could Wicked Wolf. Eat the Cruel Celebrant. Um,. We'll go ahead and thought on here. Let's see what he's got going on. Brain maggot. Perfect. I suppose. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so he's down to Overgrown Tomb and something else. I think my next play is just Oko, make food. And start swapping all his creatures. Overgrown Tomb, gone! Now I know nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Ugh, why did I say that? Trauma. <clears throat> Could just go Oko, food. Yeah. Oko, food, line of worlds. It's not the worst play in the world. Get some mana on there that's permanent. And that's all she wrote. Mm, nah. Gotta get this reality smasher going. Hey, it's a Zulaport Cutthroat. That seems worth wicked wolfing. Alright, now he's got nothing in his hand. Each opponent loses one life. And, uh, yeah, so it's not targeted, so I'm glad I didn't bring in... This guy. Jeez. Yes, block him. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's an elk. What do I care? I ain't scared of no elk. Go. Cool. He's like, aha, mine's bigger. I say... He's an elk. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. The Planeswalker and the Creature Control. So they're basically the same thing. So we'll just go ahead and we will Wicked Wolf. And I'll just eat. This one, I guess, is better because it's a 1 2 and it gets Planeswalkers. Sure, why not? Alright, I'll lose two more. Unfortunate. Play the Botanical Sanctum and pass the turn. Nope. We'll start combating next turn. Or at least we'll see how it goes. Alright, so it's my team versus his team. Rogue Refiner. Rogue Refiner. Hmm, what do we got with Rogue Refiner? Rogue Refiner. Depending on what I want to do here. Probably just. Do I even care about stealing this guy? I could just make a food. Attack with the Wicked Wolf. And then during his upkeep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, start things off with an attack with the Wicked Wolf. See what he does. Can't imagine he blocks it, it probably just takes three. Drowsy token, I lose one, and then I'm just going to play this Rogue Refiner. Set up for... Green. So this would cost... Ooh, there it is. Let's go ahead and play the Heart of Kiran. Set up for killing him here shortly. Because now I can exchange the food for the Cutthroat. And suddenly... This ain't looking too bad. Alright, so let's see here. Exchange the food for the Cutthroat. Change the food for the cutthroat. Change the food for the cutthroat. We're going to go Reality Smasher. I've got Heart of Quran on back up. Block. I mean, what's the most effective block? He has one card in his hand? I don't know. Any of my stuff dies and I drain him. It's a shame you're not Blood Artist. for the courage on. Do I want to kill the blister pod? Just give him another scion token? Nah, not really. Card, I gain a life. And that's all she wrote. Yep. He's up to 
10. Yep. And now, hopefully, we kill him. Hopefully. Here we go. Seder Wayfinder. What do we get? We got a land. Nothing of interest. Good thing you know. Hmm. Cool. It's the scariest thing that could happen. No idea. Okay. Well. I could either tap down his guys, or I could just attack with everything. Keep the tap down, so make this into a 3 3. Attack with everybody. Two, three, four, five. Four, sack the rogue finder, tap the tap, attack for five, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's do it this one. Alright, game three. That wasn't bad. Anything need to change? Not really. Veil of Summer, I'm glad that I didn't bring that in since it doesn't do anything. Oh, everything else seems fine. I feel like I still want these. Just debating if anything needs to go. Like, Rogue Refiner could probably turn back into either Stubborn Denial or Once Upon a Time. Now that I'm on the draw, it's just a hair slow. Turn of the ranks is a thing. Collected company is a thing. Oh, see, but now these are... Mm. Yeah, no, I'm going to go back to Once Upon a Time. Oh, I keep forgetting about Voice of Resurgence. I'll leave one in for the misers, like... Oops, I stopped you, but otherwise, let's just get, get that Graph Digger's Cage out. See if he wants to play first. Yeah, seems like a keeper. Turn one, Goose. Turn two, or turn one elf, turn two refiner. That's where we want to go. Because otherwise it'll. Yeah. Turn one elf, turn two refiner. Oh my god, we have less than five minutes left? God, pick up the pace, watch the clock. Brain bank. Yeah, that's what, non-creature, non-land, or just non-land? Oh, okay, so he used to take something here. Probably the Wicked Wolf, if I had to guess. He might go after the Rogue Refiner. He might go after the Goose. But either way, I'll get it back. Well, or I won't. If he takes the Wild... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, let's pick up the pace here. Okay. Can I cast it for free? No. Mm -hmm. I just yield to this turn, please. Uh, so what will we do next turn? Attack for three. What's he got? Oh, there it is. The old aristocrat himself. Okay. I'm just going to go breeding pool. Yes. And then we are going to pass to his upkeep. Uh, no. Alright, 4 minutes, 26 seconds. If I rip the land, I'll be able to go Reality Smasher and 
smash some reality. If I do not, well, well, that might happen. So, okay, that's unfortunate. I hate to say it. Dang it. Crew three. I want to get in for six at the very least. Mm. Heart of Crown doesn't do anything though, that's the problem. If I once upon a time for a land. What do I do here? So once upon a time for a land. Play the land, or just play the double goose, attack for five. Goose. Goose. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to go full aggro. We will try to find the... Just get in for six. And then yield through the turn. Got three and a half minutes to win this game. It can be done. Can it be done? I don't know. But the good news is this Reality Smasher gets to come out and play next turn. What do you got for me? Blue Port Cutthroat. That makes things a little complicated. But that's okay. He can attack two if he wants to. And he's got me drained for at least a little bit. Graph Digger's Cage. Well... Can't kill anything, so let's just get in there. No, I don't want him to see it until he starts sacking things. Yep. That's it. Okay. And that stops any shenanigans there. Now, best case scenario. We're just going to keep attacking for 10 every turn. Hope that does it. Oh, he's got something here. Oh, it must be the Conclave Tribunal. You going after the Smasher? You going after the Cage? You got to go after the Smasher. All right, we still have a very good chance of doing this. Mutabolt, eh? Could have been Clutch. Um, let's go on. Once upon a time, I found a big old of nothing. So I'll take the other Muta Vault. I'm going to play a Heart of Karan and attack for six. Not you guys. Okay, now with the Muta Vault and the Line of Whirl, if I can crew the heart, and we'll see what happens. Cutthroat stuck where he is for a while. Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't do anything anymore. Now he's got blister pod, so he's got sacks. Sacks for days. Alright, come on. Give me some goods. Line of War Elves. Well, he'll have to sack some things. He's got a bunch of one ones. Not what I meant to do. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. Not what I meant to do, but hey, that's life. Um, Nothing can block flyers, so I just have to make it... Two, three, four, five. He's got time, but he has to do something. Yep.
now uh, another creature control. One, two, three. So now the Heart of Quran should finish the deal, but we'll see what he plays. If not, I turn these into creatures and I just turn everyone sideways and hope that that's enough. Seder Wayfinder, what do you see, my friend? What do you see? Temple Garden, yep. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, can't even do anything with it. Now, if he has another Conclave Tribunal, oh, uh, it uh, No, he doesn't. Oh, he's got a. Oh, this makes this considerably longer. That's okay, though. These Muta Vaults are going to turn into creatures, and everyone's going to turn sideways. Come on, Oko off the top. <laughs> Come on, Oko off the top. Now I'm praying for an Oko. Unless he dames mutable. That would be clever too. Nope. Alright, he went with Heart of Quran. Sounds good to me. Oh, go up the top. That works too. Uh, I gotta pay one more. Yeah. I just gotta keep smashing until something happens. 122 left. Feel the wrath of my clown jellyfish elf. I don't know everything. Everything. That's what this guy is. He is also an insect. And a human. And a rogue. And a satyr. And an Eldrazi. Good news is his cartel aristocrat has no good books. And that's the end of that one. Whew. Reality Smasher, my man. My man. All right, and we're back. What? All right, not going to let it go to my head. People can read, win die rolls on occasion. I would love to play first. Ugh. Is the prospect of a turn two rogue refiner good enough to keep this? I have like nothing going on. I've got all my colors though. I've got geese. I've got the refiner, but geez. Is a cantrip good enough to keep? I'm gonna go with no. Boo, let me guess no lands. Oh, no, that's better. Uh we will keep, but who's gonna go? I guess stubborn denial is probably the worst card. May regret that. Did my opponent? He mulliganed a six as well, so we'll start things off with a once upon a time. By the way, Veil of Summer was banned if no one saw it. Oh, Line of War Elves, eh? Uh, I've already got a Line of War Elves. I could go Turbo Elves. Let's go for the Turbo Elves plan for the quicker Reality Smasher. Yeah, let's do that. That seems good. I don't have to actually pay attention this time to my time. I'm not just dilly dally around, dinking around. <laughs> So anyways, Veil of Summer has officially been banned, so let's our, uh, enjoy our last night of it. Okay, I don't want to stop right now. Sacred Foundry tapped. Interesting. Clifftop Retreat. Ah, his 2-2 two, two against my double reality smasher. Oh, these are the hands you hope to get with Eldrazi. And yet, I could still lose to this friggin' 10th District Legion. This thing gets quick. It's big quick. <laughs> it gets huge fast. It might actually even outclass my reality smasher. So that's why I'm hoping a double reality smasher does the trick, but feather. Feather is good. Stop asking me if I want to do anything, I don't. Alright, what do we got? Wicked Wolf. Uh, you can't kill the feather. Yeah, I think we still gotta just go turbo. The old double reality smasher draw. 
Sometimes it is just that good. Then again, Feather has been known to do some nutty things. I'm hoping I get this off quick enough to the point where they cannot. But we'll see. Next turn, I just smash with everything. Play the Rogue Refiner. If he somehow survives, hopefully draw something better. If not, that's all she wrote. Veil of Summer being banned actually makes a ton of sense. Like, they don't want to ban Nykthos. They're not going to do it. Not going to happen. So anyone who thinks it might happen, stop trying to make it happen. Because it ain't going to happen. Here we go. Opponent's got something going on. Or he's just planning on not dying, so... I think I'm just going to go with this smash with everything plan. We'll just see what happens. Worst case scenario, i got to follow up and rogue refiner. Oh, look at that. That works. Alright, so... Tempted to bring in Stubborn Denials, but then you're just like, well, why? I think on this one, I really just have to be all about... Yeah, none of these cards do anything. So I think in this case, I just bring in the random Cyclonic Rift to disrupt, you know, their his system he's got going on. And then just try to win through my creatures being better than his. Ergo, win quickly. Because otherwise, his creatures are probably better than mine. Don't get too aggressive with the Octopi. Okay. Well, this has potential, albeit a little slow. I will keep it. This could be too slow, though. I'm going to yield to this turn. Yeah. This one might just be too slow. No one drop sucks. Like, really sucks. It's what you kind of need in this matchup. 10th District Legionnaire. Yeah. Let's hope that turning him into an elk does the trick. Problem is, you turn these guys into elks, ugh. You turn them into elks, and the plus one, plus one counters remain. So we're going to go Rogue Refiner to hopefully set up for the Elder Deep Fiend. Or just to draw a better card, since Oko's probably not going to do anything. Well, let's see. It might do something, honestly. Yep. I'm going to yield to this turn. You got it, bro. You do your thing. See, like, right now, if I would actually turn, play the Oko and turn the de 10th District Legionnaire into a 3-3, three, three, it'd be a 4-4 four, four right now. It'd be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, he's just going ham. Too slow. Five cards in hand. I could turn this into... Ugh. I'd actually make it bigger with the Oko. Yuck. All right, well... Finer, get me out of this. Good news is, I might be able to, depending on what I draw, I'm going to have to take another swing, which could just kill me. In all honesty, he could just kill me next turn. I might have to chump. Sad as that is. If he has another Titan Strength or something crazy like that. Uh, Heart of Kiran. Okay. We'll see. So right now it's a 4 4. Otherwise, I can at least go Jellyfish mode. But, oof. Two, three. Okay, it's a feather. So I'm only going to take four this turn. So if I'm only going to take four, I do think I did not see that coming, in all honesty. Hmm. I honestly didn't expect that. Alright, so let's see. If I go breeding pool, jellyfish. do is I'm gonna go breeding pool. I'm gonna pay the two life. I'm gonna end up at six. This could be dangerous, but sometimes you just gotta get dangerous. Let's get dangerous. I'm gonna Oko the feather. Because like I said it just makes this guy bigger. And then I'm gonna play the line of elves. And we're just gonna do one of these. So now I've got the Feather under control via Rogue Refiner. I can chump block the 10th District Legionnaire. And we'll see what happens. I 
main costs. Where are we? Where does main step? Main phase. Okay, what do you got? He comes with both. He's coming with both at me. God's willing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Yeah, that's what happens. There's a... Alright, cool story, bro. I'll be on the play. See if I can do something a little quicker. Uh... Yeah, no, none of these other cards do anything. So, here we go. That was just way too slow of a hand. I should have probably mulliganed it, but then again, what are you going to do? It wasn't the worst hand ever. It's just, man, this deck really needs its one drops. Okay, I would love to. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get, so we will keep. I got stuff to do. I got time to do it. I got the old once upon a time. We're going to go ahead and cast this now, since I'm going to lead online or elf, and we'll see what else I can find. I gotta get this thought not here out ASAP. Did he keep seven? He did. Um it's honestly between the goose. I've got enough lands. I think I'll take the goose. Go with the turbo mode again. Comes in, makes a dude. Try to yield to this turn. No reason to wait. I mean I've got twenty minutes, but you know, it could go quickly or something. <clears throat> Does stink, because he gets the Legionnaire out before I can actually uh, thought not see it. Sure, favorite hoplite. Nice. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just going to go Lion of Worlds, tap Breeding Pool. Play the Lion of Worlds. I won't have two mana open anyways. Well, I'll go ahead and go tap the breeding pool, and I'll pass. We'll see what he's got. No more Veil of Summer. Oh, uh, no. No attacks, please. No more Veil of Summer. The good news is I can go mutable. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna block, buddy. Nope, I'm good. It's almost like I know what your deck does. But if you want to go nuts, this is okay. Because now I might be able to get... Like, I'd rather he just played a bunch of stuff, made all of his... made his dude big as possible, as opposed to... Yeah, totally. Oh, Reckless Rage. Still. Cool. Cool story, bro. Alright. We're gonna go meet him all. Thought not here. Let's see what the buddy's got working. Reckless Rage. That card's so good. All right. Jeez, this is going to be painful next turn, so I'm at least going to take two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I take the feather. That's my plan here. i got three life on the board, so I'm essentially a 19. Feather doesn't do anything next turn, so I can essentially attack for four. Essentially attack for four. I think I'll just take the Defiant Strike. Well, so I can attack for four, play Aether Hub, play Heart of Kiran, and then just save up for a huge attack after. In the meantime, Plants out three four. He's plus one plus one, so plus two plus two. So he can hit me five next turn if he doesn't play the feather. The feather can be stopped with Elder Deep Fiend. He taps and plays the feather, or he doesn't. If he doesn't. That works too. Okay. We will take the Defiant Strike, and I will pass. That 
may not be right, but the way I see it, if he plays the feather, it's one turn more. He's not attacking me. And it looks like he's going to. Yep. Yeah. Now, best case scenario, I attack and he blocks. I cannot imagine he will. No, you're not going to attack. Okay, well that was a good draw. That was a great draw, actually. Is so there a situation here where I attack... Johnny's presence to make his thing indestructible and make it five power. Make that into an elk. Make heart of Quran. Now I think my plan here is to elk his dude. So he's got the Johnny's presence. Gives him what? Indestructible? Yeah. So I'll have to trade something. Probably the heart. It's not like it's elk it. Well, it's not going to actually do anything. Uh, yeah, that will be well. So he can actually give them both indestructibility. Mmm, that's annoying. That is annoying. Well, then Oko goes and I just beat down. Because I can still activate, activate, boom, boom, boom. And then three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we are going to go ahead and pass. And we're going to go for the race game. Because if, if this works this way, then I don't know what he could draw. But he attacks with both. Did he play the Battlefield Forge? I believe he did play the Battlefield Forge. Now, he could have other things going on in his hand, so i got to be careful. But, he attacks with both. Yeah, go for it. I let it go. Yep. My plan here... Sure. It's annoying, but sure. Stubborn denial. Well, that's nice. Okay. Well... Oh, that won't work. I can't. I don't double blue, do I? I'll take six on the crackback. It's got the Johnny's present still. Nah, that's fine. Okay. Crew in, let's go to combat. Got the Elder Deep Fiend on standby. And I can gain three life if need be. Sure, that seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. We got two cards in his hand, and I know one of them. Now I just need a moment to get through with the jellyfish. Activate, activate, two, three, four, five. Expedite. Target creature gains haste. Okay, I'm still at 16. I still have the ability to both stubborn denial and gain some life off this food. <laughs> the miser's stubborn denial. Otherwise, we're going to try to make this elder deep fiend do his thing. Three cards in hand, one of which is in a Johnny's presence. Otherwise, the plan is use this to activate Heart of Quran, attack for four, he's at five, then during his upkeep, tap his team. Well, depending on what he does this turn, he may just go all in. Sure. Bring it. Bring it. Nope. He's just getting in for that three. He doesn't want to take the beats from the Thought Knots here. So we'll just go Heart of Quran, hold up Stubborn Denial, and then go with this plan. Ooh, Oko. Does Oko do anything here that I could not already do? Yes, it lets me activate Heart of Quran without penalty. Kind of have to 
do it this way, which stinks. Because I need the chump blocker. What am I going to do with this? Am I going to turn my food into a creature for chump blocking? Three cards, one of which is a Johnny's Presence. Let's think this through. By Heart of Quran, activate using Thought Knots here. Attack for four in the air. See what he does. If he does nothing, then I just pass, holding up Stubborn Denial. End of his turn, I use uh, Elder Deep Fiend to tap his team down, potentially with one other creature. He can't actually stop it because it's a colorless ability, at least not with God's willing or anything like that. Let's let's try that. Let's see if this works. He has a reckless rage. Then at least I've got. I mean, I've got blockers no matter what. Yep. Yeah. Let's get in with my big vigilant dude. He is at five. Okay. Well, now we just need to survive. Tenth District Legionnaire. Yep. Okay. Four, seven, eight. Five, six. All right, let's do it. Wish I could keep up stubborn denial as well, but I can't. He gets to draw a card. Booyah! Hakasha! Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Elder Deep Fiend getting the job done. All right. Let's do a quick little recap here for those who are interested. Meh. <laughs> eh, you're banned. Yeah, so these are out. What? Okay. So should you play this deck? I would say yes. Although, honestly, I feel like... I'm still not sold on the Wicked Wolf as good as it could be. It just seems like with as tight as the mana is, the Gilded Goose is going to be using those uh, food tokens for mana, pretty much gobbling them up. <laughs> gobbling them up every chance it gets. So, it's cute, and I'm, I might suggest actually moving them to the board since there's space now, but what would I put in its place? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe more Stubborn Denials. Maybe something else. I'll have to think about it. I want that fourth Elder Deep Fiend. Actually, I think what the best thing I would do is drop these, get in some um, Kozilex Return, and then uh, maybe go with that team or build. So that is all for me. Hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Congratulations. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a train wreck you just couldn't look away from? Feel free to give me a little bit of feedback down there. If you liked it, you can hit the button to say like, subscribe, whatever. I'm sure I'll leave a couple links, probably to my Twitch, if you ever want to catch it live. I usually stream on the weekends. Usually. Yeah. Otherwise, shoot me an email, shoot me a deck list, shoot me a feedback. I don't care. I love other people. It's a great thing. So it's going to take it easy. Bye. Bye.